everybody. Welcome. In this video I would like to talk about uh, possibilities how to improve FPS in the Tarko and really enjoy the game and also with uh, all the issue with the optimization and all that stuff around the Tarko there is a multiple people which have a lot of issues with the FPS so uh, in this video we will look at all possibilities which I know and also uh, there is some ways how we can uh, work around or fix uh, the issue so don't forget to subscribe, follow my videos and uh, let's look at it. First way how to improve uh, FPS is multi-threading and multi-threading issue. Before some time, uh, Battlestat Games uh, introduced this option, use only the physical cores which have to disable multi-trading for the Tarko. But for me, this option uh, really not help at all. So there is uh, another way how you can uh, disable multi-trading and um, rise your FPS about 10 to 20, which is for me really a huge boost. Here is application uh, Process Lasso. It is some kind of uh, task manager, but it really uh, focuses on uh, CPU and RAM and cleaning. So, first of all, the prerequisite for um, the correct usage of this application is to start Escape from Tarko. Um, after that, uh, start Process Lasso because otherwise you will not be able to see a uh, process escape from Tarko as you can see here. So first time when you find the process and also right click on it you will be able to see a lot of options. Um, main option in our case will be CPU affinity. Here you will be able to see current and always. Uh, current mean uh, in our uh, session right now Always for the whole time, so I would like to set it for the whole time. And here, uh, most probably, here you will be able to see all CPUs. When you hit disable SMT, just second core, second thread will be used. And this is what we want. Um, and there is a question why I have to uh, reduce my power of the CPU for the correct usage. There is a lot of threads uh, on the Reddit and also discussion about that, but uh, most likely Tarko have issues with the multi-threading and multi-core processing. So um, right now we disabled uh, the multi-threading and multi-core processing for the whole Tarko for the whole time. There is also one option, uh, priority. In your case, there will be a normal priority, but you have to set it to above normal. Um, it is most likely uh, about the prioritization of the CPU, but uh, it will help. Uh, not much, but help. There is also one more option, uh, because um, once you uh, install uh, Process Lasso, there will be a new power option. So when you uh, start or look at the power option settings for the laptop or also for the desktop, there will be a new option. Most likely you have high performance, uh, ultimate performance of balance mode, balance profile. But uh, this high performance uh, really improve my game FPS. I'm really not sure what exactly this prefer do, but it help help for all my games. So. Second option how to improve your FPS is uh, adjusting the application itself. So um, I am in the folder where I installed the escape from Tarko, and also here I can see the exe file. When you right click on it and click on the properties and uh, to go into the compatibilities, there is an uh, option to disable full screen optimization, optimizations, 
so you have to check it and also change high dpi settings so here we have to set it for the application on override make sure you have unchecked this one it's okay okay uh, I am using it for uh, SK from Taco Exe, um, B, and also Launcher. Third way how to increase your FPS is using uh, external tool for optimizing the Windows services and also cleaning the memory. So first thing, uh, after some time uh, in the game, a few games. Uh, you will uh, have a much lower APS um, and this is why uh, I'm using the jet clean for example this is the first way how you can clear your memory and also uh, some windows uh, caches, app caches and, and other stuff which can uh, really fill your RAM and also um, lower your FPS in the game for the same purpose there is a tool uh, CC cleaner uh, which can also clean um, the RAM it is really better to use external tool because uh, I know that Tarko uh, lamented this and also some RAM cleaning but it is really uh, not that good as external tool after that there is a uh, jet boost uh, this tool uh, simply disabling some stuff in the windows some services and processes and uh, help you improve your fps in the game and also use um, another tools for example raza game booster or any other free uh, booster and this tool uh, can improve uh, your fps in the game also for some numbers in my cases it is about 10 fps if you really have a low fps then there is a possibility to also disable the explorer so um, it will also save you some um, usage of the cpu and ram <laughs> Here is the fourth and last part, how to improve your FPS. Uh, in this case, uh, it is most obvious and most common way how to improve your FPS, but uh, not much people know these information. So, first of all, uh, I strongly recommend to use only full screen. Borderless and windowed, uh, you can feel the lower FPS in the borderless and also with the windowed option. Um, in case of texture quality, uh, difference between these, uh, for example in my case it is, it is around 5 FPS, so I focus with the medium. Uh, shadow quality low always, uh, lot quality also low. Overall visibility, there is a multiple discussion about it because um, most people using it about 1000. Uh, I am feeling that I am not able to see some, in some cases. So I uh, using uh, 1500 and I'm pretty much fine with that. About shadow visibility at low and uh, anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing, uh, it really depends on your GPU and uh, in some cases, for example, my old GPU run much better with TAA and um, new GeForce, which I already had, um, have FXAA and I have really much better uh, FPS with that, um, probably much better than I uh, when I have off uh, it for the whole the game. Resembling really off, uh, HBO, there is also much uh, discussion about it, because HBO help you identify objects um, in the in grass or when somebody is proning and stuff like that, but it is most likely about shadows and about uh, visibility, so for me uh, it helped me identify the objects, I can really um, see it in the game. SSR off, uh, anti-stropic filtering off, sharpness, it's really about the personal preferences uh, and uh, limit of the FPS in the lobby in the game, so uh, max as it possible. Uh, all other settings like Z-Blur, Noise, Grass, V-Sync is disabled.
There is just one thing which you can also do to lower your FPS and it is probably the last thing which I do. It is a lower of your screen resolution. There is um, really a bad graphic and in some cases I was able to see only the squares uh, in the distance and uh, I was clearly unable to identify this is a player, scow, barrel, wall, anything. So this is the last choice. That's probably all from my side, so I hope this will be helpful for you. And also, don't forget to write a comment and subscribe to my channel, so thank you very much.